Yeah, hey there, Micah and Sandra. Some supporters of this new policy already rallying on the corner here near the school district headquarters. As you said, this meeting set to start in an hour. What we'll see when that meeting starts is how this new court ruling will affect the ongoing debate. Since the Orange Unified School Board last met to discuss adopting a new parental notification policy that, in general, would require school officials to notify parents if a child asked to be addressed as a different gender at school than what they were born as, the playing field has changed. This week, a judge issued a temporary restraining order against a similar policy from taking effect in the Chino Valley Unified School District after the California Attorney General's office filed a lawsuit claiming it violated California's constitution, raising this question for other school districts like Orange Unified. As you know, other school districts are considering similar policies are you putting them on notice? What, what is your message to those school uh, districts and boards? Don't violate the law. Don't violate the constitutional, civil, and statutory rights of children. If you have adopted uh, or plan to adopt a policy uh, similar to that in Chino Valley, you will be violating all those laws, and we will hold you accountable. But the proposal at Orange Unified is not exactly the same as Chino Valley's. Since the Orange Unified board's last meeting, it has been updated to add exceptions for children over the age of 12 who object to their parents being notified or children of any age's parents being notified if there is reasonable cause to believe a child could be put in danger by doing so. When asked if the Orange Unified policy could be targeted by the Attorney General, board member Madison Minor, one of the sponsors of the new policy, said this. I don't I don't believe so. And according to the letter that Rob Bonta sent out, there were a lot of, um, you know, he said a lot of this could happen, this may happen um, in regards to uh, discrimination lawsuits. And um, he was very, in my opinion, very, very uh, dangerously stated that the parents are not the best providers for their own children. Here's a look at that rally taking place on the corner. Again, this meeting starts in about an hour. Reporting live here in Orange, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. All right, Chip, we'll be following that story tonight. A judge has